Hi, I, I haven't uh, made a video in a while and I just want to get this out there because I'm rather excited about it. But this here is the golden spiral made with in three dimensions. So it's a volumetric golden spiral and it's made of three different tetrahedra that are then scaled by phi or the golden proportion. And the three tetrahedra are U. V and W, those are the names, letters U, V, and W. And essentially the volume works like this. The U tetrahedron plus the V tetrahedron equals the W. The V plus the W equals the U, and the W plus the U equals the V. So they, they very much interact with each other, and they're, they're uh, different orientations, but they essentially are the same. So that's the spiral. I'm not really differentiating the three different um, tetrahedra here. I've done that on other videos, but it's it's just rather a good starting point for now. Okay, first we're going to show the U tetrahedron. And as you can see, I have some lines in there. All four of the faces are the same, the overall face. I'm talking about from this corner, corner, corner like that. Just ignore the other lines for now. But anyway, what I want to show is that the U and the V and the W themselves are made up of smaller, scaled by phi, U, V, W modules. So with the um, U module, we'll, I think we're going to get rid of the skin here if I'm doing this right. Yeah. Okay. And you can see some lines. Yep. Yeah, all red and yellow. Um, right off the bat, the part that's still shaded is a smaller U module or tetrahedron that's two phi scales smaller. Um, the other tetrahedra that are making this up are the W and the V. It's interesting how, well first of all I'm just going to show the W's real quick. They're, they're these four points here. It'd be nice if I could skin the whole thing. Those four points, so there's a two triangles here. There's a back triangle. I don't think it'll let me skin the whole thing, but anyway, there's one on this end and there's one on this end. It will become more familiar as we go on. Now, it's also interesting is there's, you could almost build this whole thing with two W's and two V's, but the two V tetrahedra intersect, and the amount that they intersect is the lesser U tetrahedron in the middle. And I guess I should probably try to just highlight the um, uh, V tetrahedron firstly, and I probably should have highlighted a, a um, W as well. Okay, so that is one of the Vs. But as you can see, it's sharing with its neighbor of opposite that inner U tetrahedron. I guess if I if I shade this all in, I did something wrong. If I shade this all in, it will show. You, it'll be easier to see the um, Ws on each end. So as I was saying, even though that the two V's do overlap and share a volume of a U tetrahedron, they are still made up because the, all three of these UVW forms are made up of smaller UVW tetrahedra forms. So here I'm showing two V's that are, they don't look like they're intersecting, but they are, they're sharing that U. And then the part that isn't shaded is the W. Okay, so I'm going to quick pull away from that to show that because that's shared, what really ends up happening is you have a, even or one phi scale smaller um, V right here. I'm doing the inner two faces, so to speak, and then there's one here. So that to make up, because which I'm going to do later is I'm going to show how to make the V anyway, but. So that's why it's allowed to share. I'm going to go on to the next one because I don't want this video too long. So here is our V um, tetrahedron. And uh, pull off the skin. And I've left 
What I've left is three U's tetrahedra, and there is a smaller W right in here, the unshaded part, these four points. And then also, or on the face that faces that aren't shaded are there's two V tetrahedra that are exactly the same as the larger one. There is left and rightness to them. And um or handedness. And that's how that's made up. It's made of two smaller V's and three smaller U's and one smaller W tetrahedron. Lastly, the, the, the W tetrahedron again is made up of all three. And I'll show that real quickly here. I'm not sure what I did on this one. Okay, so what I have is on each end is a, a smaller W. One, I don't know what that point. One, two, three, four points of a tetrahedron. And then the interior is made up of one, two, three of the V's and, and one U in the center. So what I'm showing here is that all three of these UV tetrahedron are made up of smaller phi-scaled UV tetrahedron. And the UV tetrahedron build to make a golden, a volumetric golden spiral, and their volumes actually by adding u to v equaling w, you could say that the ratio is the middle one v. If that if that was a one, then the u hat would have a volume relate relative to it of 0.618, and the w would have a volume of 1.618 in the golden mean, and that's a volumetric relationship, and that's what makes the spiral. Lastly, what I want to show here, and it looks a little chunky. I understand that. Um, apologize for that, but. Um, I guess I could get these little uh, um, shapes a little smaller just so they're not so lumpy. Okay, anyway, what we have here is the fat rhombohedra of the quasi-crystal fame. And what I've shaded is a um, group of six of the W modules, and the rest of this model is made up of U, V, and W. This is new. I I don't know why I didn't recognize, and this is one of the first things I've ever dissected was when I was working with what I was calling T modules and now E modules long ago. The, um, this, or, this arrangement of the six W tetrahedron, I called them um, remainder tetrahedron back then. And, and I would subdivide a, the overall, the form was a T module or an E module, which is a right angled tetrahedron that's 120th of a rhombic tricontahedron. But this is a different way of uh, dissecting, and there's a, like in here, this larger space fitting in that valley is a W, and there's another W. There's two W's in each of the six valleys, and then there's one um, V and one U and a smaller W. So, and then there's this. There's a lot of W's, okay? <laughs> okay, there's 18 of them of one size and six of a smaller size, and there's six of the of the V's and six of the U's. Okay, and lastly, since there's a fat and thin golden rhombohedra, the other one is the thin, and that's also made up of UV modules, UV tetrahedra, and the, in here I'm showing a cluster of six U tetrahedra surrounded by other U VW units. Here there's there's large, um, I think that works, there's six of the large W's, there's six smaller W's, and then there's, besides the six initial U's, there's more U's. Uh, how many? One, there's uh, six of those, and then there's also six, or is it twelve? I think it's, I should know this, I haven't really, I just discovered this stuff, so I haven't really worked with the numbers, but anyway, there's twelve of the um, v unit. So that's that's what I'm trying to show real quickly in a nutshell. I'd love to make this video better, but that's all I got for now. Thank you very much.